Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual with Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys a yes or no, Terry de Marseille edition. We have Pa One here, a Labradorite bear, which is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful sheen. I love this thing. Uh, we have Pa Two, a Celestite heart. Probably said that a little bit wrong. <laughs> and Pa Three, Malachite, all right? So please pick your pal, and again, we will be using the Tarot de Marseille, and this is this edition, versatile readings and vintage gameplay with French Tarot. Love this deck, all right? Just got it, actually. Also, you can watch um, the unboxing if you're interested in that, posted last week. But anyways, please pick your pal, pal 1, pal 2, pal 3, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Pal Ones. This will be for if you chose the beautiful bear, the Labradorite bear. This will be your yes or no reading. So I will be pulling yes or no, and then we will give advice, all right? So we have here the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups. So this is a no. This person or the situation is not honoring your energy. It leaves you feeling void. It leaves you feeling not at peace. And it just leaves you feeling empty and it's kind of like you keep going back and going back and repeating the same cycle over and over again um and you're just needing to kind of let it go you need to kind of just see it for what it was or see it see it for what it taught you see it for what it taught you about yourself and what it taught you about your emotions but i thought this is a no that this is something that is just it feels super draining and it feels that you keep giving your attentions your affections your um like energy to a situation that just feels super empty that feels like it's giving you something that's void it's giving you nothing in return and if you are okay with that nothingness by all means i guess but i wouldn't be okay with that and i feel that it's draining your energy it's draining your spirit and it doesn't honor the beautiful being that you are instead it just more so again takes from you and takes from your energy so we have your advice here being which is what i'm pulling now currently this is very fast by the way but yeah definitely a no automatically but anyways um advice for my power ones please we have here <laughs> literally i would say this thing is draining your energy and we have nourish so you need to do things that are nourishing for you you need to find things that are nourishing that uplifts you that gives to you that you don't have to recharge afterwards and knowing that situations and people out there do exist that can charge your energy that you can feel good um when you have interactions with others you can find support in others all right and you can be free of whatever emotional baggage this is but i definitely feel this is a no and you're being asked to to move on to a situation that more so nourishes your energy and i have tea here by the way my cup is disgusting <laughs> but yeah i hope this message has served you please make sure you like comment subscribe and if this was your pal leave a little bear emoji down below and thank you so much for watching namaste hello namaste and welcome to readings pal twos this is before if you chose the uh, uh celestite heart <laughs> can barely say this crystal name but i have braces if you know you know if you don't you just don't this would be you guys' reading, all right? Uh, so leave a comment down below. Comment a blue heart if this was your pal, all right? So we have yes or no. We have the king of swords. And we have the two of swords. Hmm. This feels like a yes. This feels that... I feel that you you could be overanalyzing or overthinking things. And it could, like, this overanalyzing could be leading you in circles i feel that because it's funny how like this is a circle but the answer lies within yourself and i feel that at least part of yourself already knows what what it is like this could be again something you're just over analyzing you need to make like a very not a hasty decision but a decision that's very like clear cut into the chase so this feels like a yes i feel that you are being again asked to stop over analyzing stop being in your head like come down from that and listen to your heart and your heart has already told you the answer already um and you just need to kind of stick with it you need to listen to it you need to kind of appreciate that you have that connection with yourself i feel because not everyone has that connection 
to their heart and you just choose the heart pal um and so again I feel like your heart has already told you the answer but you're not listening to it you're just kind of you're like over processing you're over analyzing and it's leading you in this constant circle this constant like rat um race almost but it's not a race per se it's more like just being in the cage and like I'm seeing a hamster running on a wheel is what I'm seeing in my head and needing to again honor what your heart is telling you and be staying true to that we have begin here being your card of advice so yeah so it's kind of like you keep hesitating you keep putting shit off you just need to kind of like just go for it stop stop um stop being in limbo stop being in that weird like indecisive place like you just need to make a quick decision and I feel that the decision is a yes we have contact prepare and space here so making space for what is about to begin because something new is beginning here and also knowing that you have made contact with someone who or something that is very important to you so you need to continue to pursue that and again stop thinking so much right thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like comment subscribe and comment a heart if this was your comment a blue heart if this was your reading thank you so much for watching namaste hello namaste and welcome to your readings pod three so this will be for you if you chose a labrador right heart oh not even a labrador right a malachite or malachite because this will be your reading gosh this one may be confusing i don't know comment a green heart if this was your pal and i will jump right in we have the first card being the four of cups Ooh, we have the star. Wow. This feels like a yes. And I feel that this is about expanding beyond what you currently know. Or just coming to, like, stepping outside of your comfort zone. Stepping outside of, like, certain routines. Certain could be expectations here as well. Or just certain, like, preconceived notions that you may have about... Kind of, I feel, I feel that this is about someone's approval of you or someone's like view of you. And you need to step into your own energy. You need to, exactly, we have your advice here free. You need to free yourself. So this is a yes. I feel that there's just a need to expand here and we have space here and that's all about expansion and chant and cheer. But yeah, this feels definitely like a yes. And I just feel that there's a sense of like being, like probably not feeling good enough or feeling unworthy, feeling like less than. And they're saying, stop that. You need to be free of whatever is holding you back, whatever is shackling you and causing you to doubt yourself, causing you to doubt, um, causing you to be very like insecure is what I'm feeling when I'm looking at this card, cards, because it's like an insecurity possibly a scarcity mindset and just needing to kind of be free from that and stepping into this beautiful wish fulfilled space and i'm gonna just maybe pull one more for you guys we have here the nine of wands this is something that you have been working towards that has been very ta could have been very taxing or very hard for you but again there's just wanting you to free yourself um, and to step into this new beautiful space that so you can take up they're wanting you to take up space they're wanting you to like become emboldened as to who you are because you are very um you are a light being I feel or you ha carry a very high frequency within your being so yeah this is beautiful reading so leave a comment down below if you picked this pal leave a green heart if you picked pal three and this will be the end of your readings. I want to thank everyone for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And also you can follow me on my other social medias if you feel ever so inclined. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.